This is a Skywatcher Evo Star 72 ED made from the shot optical glass, which is really good uh, low dispersion, low scatter glass. It has a, a lens which is upochromatic, or you may call it semi upochromatic, but it's practically colorless, it should be, uh, which has 72 mm -hmm. millimeter. Uh, diameter and the uh, focal length is 420 so practically is around f6 f number and it's fully multi-coated uh, it's practically a telescope built for astrophotographing mind and uh, that's what it does but beside that is upper chromatic you can use it visually. I have looked at the Orion Nebula and Orion Belt with this amazing, superb view. Never seen anything like that. Beautiful telescope. Uh, the mount that I have for it is a Celestron mount, but I'm not using it because for Celestron mount to be used with this, I have to take it out on the field and uh, mount and tripod. And f I don't have access of, uh, or the luxury of that. I just use from Windows. So I'm just using this Skywatcher Virtuoso, uh, Vir Skywatcher Heritage uh, 100 uh, P uh, Dobsonian mount for it, which is versatile. There are limitations with this also. It is very superb, but there are limitations. Uh, with this eyepiece, I cannot focus on the l short distance. Uh, I mean, just around 10 meters ahead of me, where the hedge is there. Uh, so you cannot use many eyepieces with this if you want to do something like what I do, looking at the short distance, or for this video I'm using that. But with the Skywatcher Nirvana 16mm uh, ultra wide angle 82 degrees fully multi-coated eyepiece, I can clearly bring everything to focus. I'll show you. So bring it into focus with this Ostara uh, 19 millimeter flat field uh, 65 degrees eyepiece. Uh, it seems it works better with the shorter focal length. Although it didn't work with the 15 millimeter, I mean I could not bring it to focus in this short distance with the 15 millimeter uh, Teleview Plus all. Uh, it couldn't come also with, in focus with this Teleview 40 millimeter focus. Uh, so, so much of this. But the Nirvana beautifully brings to focus with very wide angle of view. You have seen it. I will show you probably later also in a separate video. All in all is uh, also, I just might point out, feather touch uh, focuser is really good in this case. I have a two inch focuser also for this, which I can use. Uh, I may use and uh, yeah it really gives good result with the tall um, plus all uh, i think 20 millimeter one tall eyepiece uh, 20 millimeter one or 25 millimeter one really beautiful result of course you have to again the shortcoming is from me probably because i'm looking targeting a short distance object which is in this case the hedge in front of me which is 10 meter away so Beautiful telescope, compact, limitations if uh, in the case. For example, focus travel can be limited in this. Is focus travel, let me show you how much it goes. So, I'm now starting from here, and I go to the maximum of focus travel. That's the focus that he can reach. That's three centimeter, practically. Uh, one and a quarter inch probably well, a little bit more probably one and a half inch that's all and that puts limitation on the uh, on what you can see with this uh, in close distance but in the far distance no there is no problem with that I've seen the Orion Nebula as I told and the mm, belts of the Orion the three stars of it uh, in very wide angle I must say in a very wide angle view
beautiful. Never seen anything like that with this telescope I've seen. It. And what is interesting also about this telescope, uh, it has a cap like the Mead ETX telescopes that is cruising and uh, will not come off so your lens is well protected your valuable expensive lens this is inside of the telescope as you can see it is well blackened as far as I can see here and now I've installed a Hyperion eyepiece Bader Hyperion 21 millimeter which can come on focus at the range of 12 meter and beyond not closer and uh, so practically it means that for bird watching that is good uh, for astronomy that is good also it's cheaper than a telephoto lens if you want to buy a telephoto lens for your camera why not consider this it has all the things that you need besides that you can actually focus it and keep it in focus because there is a screw underneath uh, here that you can actually keep it in focus that is screw and uh, then it's uh, fully multi-coated it's a shot glass which is the best glass you can find it's a uh, patented glass practically it gives a semi upper or upper chromatic qualities uh, you can buy it new for as around 250 or something second hand you can buy cheaper I bought this with the stand of it 215 or 35 yeah 235 and yeah when you buy it new you will it will come also with a carrying case aluminium carrying case you can put it inside there and well, of course, what you buy online, uh, I mean, when you buy it new, what it has is just a tube. You receive the tube, you find the and uh, star diagonal, and that's it. Nothing more. And also the dovetail and the rings. But uh, I received also with a good uh, go-to uh, mount and tripod.